So Google announced Android XR and as expected, we already have the experimental packages for Unity. Unity is adding Android XR support to some of its popular packages like these ones. So in today's video, we'll see how to set up our Unity project for Android XR development. Now if you're wondering, how do we even develop for Android XR when we don't have a single headset running this OS on it? Well, that's the beauty of OpenXR. Since Android OS is compliant with OpenXR, we can build experiences and test it on devices that support OpenXR like the MetaQuest devices. Also, don't worry if you do not have a headset, you can still develop and test it using the XR simulator. I will show how you can do it at the end of the video. Now moving on to the next important question. What if I've already built an application using these packages? In such cases, you can easily port them to Android XR with very minimal efforts. Also, here's a nice quote from Andrew, the CEO of Owlcami Labs, the creators of Job Simulator. I'll make a dedicated video on how you can port your apps sometime in the future. But in today's video, we'll see how we can set up our Unity project with Android XR, set up a small scene with a basic grab interaction and build it and test it onto our headset. Also, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can use the XR simulator to test as well. All right then, let's get started. So the Android XR packages are available starting with Unity 6. So if you're using the older versions of Unity, you might not be able to find those packages. So to install the latest version of Unity 6, you can click on install editor. Make sure to select the latest version that's available. And from here, make sure to select Android build support, open JDK, Android SDK, NDK tools, scroll down and select Windows build support IL to CPP as well. Click on continue, agree to the terms and condition and click on install. Once you have your Unity editor installed, you can navigate inside projects. Click on create new project. Make sure that you're using the right editor version and from the templates, you can either choose universal 3D core render pipeline or the 3D built-in render pipeline. However, in the documentation, it's recommended to use universal 3D render pipeline as it allows us to take advantage of some of the newer features of Unity. Then give your project a name and click on create project. All right, so here we have our Unity project open. Now to install the Android XR package, you can navigate inside Windows, Package Manager, Click on the plus symbol and select install package by name. Here you want to type com.unity.xr.androidxr-openxr and click on install. Alright, so here we have the package installed. Now it's important to note that it's in the experimental stages, which means that some of the things could change when they actually release the package. But it's always nice to work with a package since its initial stages because during its actual release, you will know most of the things already. Also, you'll notice that it would have automatically installed the preview version of AI Foundation and also the latest version of OpenXR plugin. Now, since we are developing for VR headsets, there's one more package that we need to install and that's the XR Interaction Toolkit. But if you are developing for something like an AR glasses, then these packages would be enough. So to install XI Interaction Toolkit, navigate inside the Unity registry, scroll all the way down and here we'll be able to find the XI Interaction Toolkit package. Go ahead and install it. And once that's done, you can navigate inside samples and import the starter assets, hand interaction demo, AR starter assets and the XR device simulator. Now if you're creating mixed reality apps and you want starter assets for that as well, then you can import the AR starter assets as well. Alright, so with that we have all the required packages. Now to set up our Unity project, navigate inside File, Build Profiles, select Android as the platform and switch the platform. Then navigate inside Player Settings, you can change the default company name, then Navigate inside other settings and here make sure to uncheck Auto Graphics API and Vulkan is set as the first one. You can select OpenGL S3 and remove it as well just to be on a safer side. Then scroll down and here you can click on override default package name and check it once again and make sure that it matches with your company name over here. Then set the minimum API level to 24 and make sure the target architecture is set to ARM64. And then scroll down to the application entry point, make sure that the activity is unchecked and game activity is checked. Now since we are using the universal render pipeline, there are some additional settings we need to configure. However, if you are using the 3D built-in render pipeline, then feel free to skip these steps. So select the quality settings, scroll up and change it from PC to mobile. Then open the render pipeline asset and from the inspector window, make sure to disable HDR from the quality settings. Then open the renderer and make sure to disable post processing. All right, once that's done, you can navigate inside XR plugin management. Make sure that you're on the Android tab and select OpenXR as the plugin provider. 
and then check the Android XR feature group as well. Now what this does is, if you navigate inside OpenXR, it would have checked all the boxes for some of the OpenXR feature groups related to Android XR. Like the AR camera, AR anchor, occlusion, AR plane, ray casting and AR session. Now it's important to make sure that all these boxes are checked if you want to use the respective feature group. Now as we want to test this on our MetaQuest devices, we need to add some interaction profiles like Oculus Touch Controller Profile and MetaQuest Touch Pro Controller Profile. And then scroll down and enable the MetaQuest support. And finally, you can navigate inside project validation and fix all the issues. Now most of your issues would have gotten fixed except for the one where it asked you to enable pass through. You can ignore this for now because we're gonna set up our scene later anyway. Alright, so with that we can close these two windows and now let's see how to set up our scene. First, select the main camera and delete it. Then, in the project window search for XR Origin, here we can either choose XR Origin XR Rig, a prefab that has been set up to track our controllers, or we can select XR Origin Hands XR Rig, a prefab that has been set up to track both our controllers and hands. So select this prefab and add it to your scene. Now this prefab has been set up with all the components required to track our headset like the track post driver, track our left controller, right controller, left hand, right hand. It has also been set up with locomotion and a character controller so that you can move around in your virtual environment. Also, if you go a level deeper and you check out the left controller and left hands, you'll see that both the controllers and the hands have been set up with different type of interactors like poke interactors, near-far interactor which is nothing but grab interactor and a teleport interactor which allows you to teleport. Now, we can save this scene and test it onto a headset directly from the Unity editor, but there are some settings that we need to configure. So navigate inside Edit, Project Settings, select Open XR, select the PC tab, and here you need to add the interaction profiles like Oculus Touch Controller Profile, MetaQuest Touch Pro Controller Profile, and since we have hand tracking, we need to add the hand interaction profiles as well. Then scroll down and make sure to check the box for hand tracking subsystems. Now later on, since we'll be building this onto a headset, you have to navigate inside Android. And here as well, we need to add the interaction profiles and check the box for hand tracking subsystem. A quick note here, if you have a look at the hand visuals, it's using a material called Unity Hand Medium and this material is coming from a shader graph. Now since shader graph don't support single pass instantiated rendering, inside the project settings, you need to set the render mode as multi-pass both inside Android and inside PC tab. Or alternatively, you can replace the material over here. And now you can connect your Quest 2 or Quest 3 using Link or Air Link. If you're not sure how that's done, I'll leave a link for that in the description and then press the play button. And as you can see here, my hands are tracked. I'm able to look at the virtual environment. And now if I pick up the controllers, the controllers are tracked as well and looks like everything is working perfectly fine. Now to set up grab interaction, the grab interactor has already been set up inside the XR origin hands. So if we check out the left controller or right controller, you'll be able to find the near far interactor. All we have to do is add the grab interactor build. And for that, you can right click on your hierarchy, navigate inside XR and add grab interactor build. This adds the XR interaction manager. Now, as the name suggests, it's going to manage all the different type of interactions. And it also adds a cube with the XR grab interactor build component. Now here, make sure to uncheck gravity and check ease kinematic. And now you can save the scene and press play to test it out. All right, so here I have my cube. Now I can grab it using the far interaction, like I can point towards it and pinch to grab it. Or I can even directly interact with it here like this. Now this is going to work with the controllers as well. So let me grab them really quick. And as you can see here, I'm able to grab it using both my controllers. While testing, one thing I noticed was that the cube's position was off as you can see here. Now we can quickly fix this. All right, now we can finally build and test it onto our device. And for that, navigate inside file, build profiles, select scene list and add the open scene. Then select the Android tab, click on build and run. Create a new folder called as builds. Give your APK a name and click on save. Alright, so the app has been successfully built onto my headset. And here I can see the cube floating in front of me. I can grab it using my hands like this and grab it using the controllers as well. Alright, so as promised, for those of you who don't have access to VR devices, I'll show you how you can use the XR simulator. So in the project window, navigate inside samples 
XR Interaction Toolkit, the version, XR Device Simulator, and here you'll be able to find XR Device Simulator Prefab. Select this and add it to your scene. And now, before we press play and test out the simulator, let's quickly have a look at its key bindings. So here we have the Unity's documentation. I will leave a link for this in the description below. And as you can see here, you can manipulate or control the left controller or hands by toggling T or by pressing and holding the shift button. Similarly, we can manipulate or control the right hands or controller by toggling the Y button or pressing and holding the space key. Then we can press and hold Z, X or C to constrain it in either Z axis, X axis or Y axis. And finally, you can press and hold G to grab an object. So going back to the Unity editor, we can press the play button and now here in the play mode you will be able to see the XR device simulator with the different key bindings. So to select the left controller you can press T once and as you can see here I am able to rotate it about its axis and to change that you can press R once and now you will be able to move the controller. And then if you press R once again, you can rotate about its point. Similarly, you can press Y once and now you will be able to control your right controller. And if you press R, you will be able to move the right controller. Now, once you get a hang of this, you can point your controller towards the object you want to grab and press G and it's going to grab the cube for us. Also, you can press H to toggle between hands and controllers. But for now, the hand controls don't work. So you won't be able to grab the object. So just use controllers for testing. I know I didn't explain a lot of things like how you can configure XR origin, how you can con configure left and right hands and controllers, how you can configure components like XR grab interactable and others. And that's because in this video, we wanted to set up our project with Android XR and see if it works on devices that support OpenXR and as you could see it actually does. So the next step is to get familiar with packages like XR Interaction Toolkit and AR Foundation. Lucky for you, we already have videos covering these topics. Once again, you can find the links in the description below. Alright, and that's it for this video. I hope you get a good head start in creating some cool apps and experiences for Android XR. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.